Hi. Um, one of the films that I was watching to, to be honest, make up the numbers somewhat for uh, 2019, as you know, I'm having to scrape around a few remaining things so that uh, we make it up to 52, is the remake of Child's Play, uh, Tom Holland's 1988 horror about a child's doll possessed by the spirit of uh, a serial killer who uses his new plastic body to uh, exact revenge on those who wronged him in life. Um, it was released last year, and I'd heard mixed things about it. It was moderately successful at the box office, but noticeably it had been disowned by the originators of the franchise, who uh, were pursuing their own separate continuation of having already produced a bunch of sequels to the original film. Um, so I was watching it with some trepidation, but I was astonished to discover that it's actually great. <laughs> um, this version takes a twist on the story, rather than there being any supernatural element. Uh, in this version, uh, Chucky the doll is actually from a, a line of toys called Buddy, which are um, dolls that allow you to interface with all the connected devices in your own home. So you can ask him to order more food for the fridge, or change the thermostat, and his little finger glows and he points to it and it works. But um, at the factory where they're being produced in Vietnam, a, a disgruntled worker, having snapped after being yelled at too many times, um, switches off all the safeguards on one particular doll, pops it in the, the packet to be sent off to the United States, and then immediately kills himself. And the doll winds up with a young boy being cared for by his uh, single mother, played by Parks and Recreation's Aubrey Plaza. And the doll... Um, is determined to be his best friend um, in, its, in its artificially intelligent understanding. And when its position as his best friend becomes threatened by, um, for example, uh, his mother's unpleasant new boyfriend, or um, the uh, creepy handyman in the apartment building, then uh, Chucky takes extreme action to make sure that they are not separated. So there is a mixture of thriller elements there. There is some very gruesome horror, such as one character's face being ripped off um, uh, in a garden, so his scalp flies through the air and lands on a garden gnome. Um, but there is also hilarious comedy. There, I, I laughed out loud several times at what are deliberate jokes. What I found particularly funny is that um, the film incorporates footage from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which is the worst film I've ever seen, but it reuses it in a context that is actually quite clever and quite satisfying, as Chucky acts out unconsciously the darkest desires of the, the young boy, um, taking revenge on those who are cruel to him, and... Um, ensuring that um, no one else can have him. So that Chucky winds up being almost like a, a jealous friend, trying to exclude and kill all his other friends so that they can play together forever. Um, there's also a, a subplot about over-reliance on technology. There's um, a, a scene where a character is killed off when Chucky takes control of her Uber, her, her driverless Uber, and smashes her all over the place. So there is interesting subplots about technology, about... Uh, it being an allegory for obsessive friendship um, or an obsessive affair, perhaps, but also bound into this horror movie that has fantastically gory sequences and it's wonderfully over the top uh, gore, including some that I don't even want to mention because I don't want to spoil them. Genuinely hilarious comedy. There's a sequence that's practically lifted straight out of Faulty Towers, but it's gruesome. And I laughed several times at that alone. And it's a genuinely suspenseful thriller. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, much to my astonishment, I absolutely loved it. And I would recommend it very, very highly. It's possibly one of my favourite films of the year. And I really didn't expect to say that, because I'm not even that keen on the original film. And I don't think I've seen any of the sequels. But this had the perfect blend of scares, um, gore, comedy, intelligence. Um, it's maybe a, a, a perfect popcorn horror movie um, under the, you know, the, with horror in its current condition. So I thought it was fantastic.
and I would recommend it very, very highly indeed.